Now you play B-flat, right? Wait, wait, just take the, just the bass, just the bass. There was so much you could do with digital as opposed to analog. Like we did a thing where we had three takes. The third take was the take, except the piano solo. We were able to take the piano solo from the second take, drop it into the third take seamlessly. When you got a session full of people in the studio and you're gonna to try to do this edit to make sure that it works and you're doing it on analog tape, it's a half hour. Because you gotta make the marks, you gotta make the cuts, you gotta take it off, you gotta take the reels off, go to the next reel where that take is if it's on another reel, put that on, make that cut. But you don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. You know, the quality is so much better and so good, and, and there's so many advantages to it. Right. Yeah. You know? Well, Michael Fremer gave my album uh, Lost in Romance 11 out of 11, and it was Pro Tools. He got 52 comments when he normally. When, the I, most. when we talked to him, when I talked to Michael about this, you yeah. know what he said? Mm -hmm. We will know what tunes were mixed from tape and what were mixed from Pro Tools. And you're going to have a mix on this record. Yeah. Let people call up and yeah. say, oh, that, that was done on tape and this one yeah. was done on Pro Tools. Yeah. The exp one of the things we didn't talk about is that people need to know about the expense of tape. Well, tape yeah, is like three fifty, three seventy, three fifty, four hundred bucks a reel. But all I can tell you is, that I was going to make a record, and it was my money that I was putting in a record. Yeah. I would ruin on Pro Tools. It would not be. There would be no tape. Someday he'll come along, the man I love. And he'll be big and strong, the man I love. And when he comes my way, I'll do my best to make him stay. He'll look at me and smile. 